everyone. Welcome back to the Beehive Buzz. I'm the Queen Bee, Lisa. It's been a while. Uh, Christmas was very nice. We were home. We didn't go away this year. Um, unfortunately, I spent most of the week sick. <laughs> Thank you to my students for that gift. But it wasn't so bad that I couldn't enjoy being home and cozied up under a quilt with books. Um, we had a furnace issue right after we had that cold snap where it was sub-zero with high winds and it got warmer and everything was fine and then all of a sudden one morning we woke up and it was like armageddon in our pipes um and one of our lines sprung a leak we have baseboard heat so there's water involved so once the pipes thawed out apparently one burst we got it fixed no problem um in case you don't know, I live in a parsonage. It's an old farmhouse. I love it. I just love the f old farmhouses. But whenever you live in an old farmhouse, there are a bunch of idiosyncrasies that you have to learn how to either live with or fix or deal with or worry about. You learn the noises that you have to worry about. When your pipes sound like they're about to come through the walls, it's time to worry about it. So I'm home today from church because something funny happened. I got there and... We have some sort of skunk infestation under the church. This happens every spring, usually in March when it starts warming up, but our weather has been so much warmer right now that it must be that they found their way under the church and they must be territorial or something because they're not in the church, but they're under it. There's like a little crawl space that they can get under. And it was, the odor was so bad. They must have had some sort of skunk smacked out last night. It was making me sick. I had to go home. Um, we're within, we're like two tenths of a mile from way to, from the church, so I can walk home easily. And I'm also the church piano, so I was like, oh, I don't want to leave. I want to be here for you. And my husband was like, look, nobody wants the pianist dry heaving or throwing up during the middle of the song. Just go home. So I did. So I'm home today, and I'm finding time to do a catch-up video. So where have I been? I've been here. I've been working. Um, I lost my sojo after Christmas. I'm not going to lie. I had interest in watching videos, but I haven't sewn much. In fact, I didn't sew anything during the month of January. I picked up a knitting project. I didn't get very far on that. I just was reading. I was just in the mood to read and hang out. And it was, you know, the gray weather makes me kind of lethargic. Not depressed, just lazy. <laughs> Um, so finally the weather started changing a little bit where now the days are getting longer. I'm getting more energy. Anyway, I have the pressure of these two quilts that I have to finish this spring, one for a wedding and one for a graduation. So I think the last thing I showed you was the main fabric for the graduation, um, quilt. It's for my daughter who's finishing nursing school. I don't think she watches my videos, so I'm not too worried about her seeing this. I had gotten this fabric off Etsy. Isn't that cute? And I'm doing a three yard quilt. It's just a cuddle quilt. It's not a major undertaking, thankfully, because the uh, wedding quilt's taking a lot of my attention right now. So these are the three fabrics I have to go for her quilt. This middle color I got at, um, where were we? Hobby Lobby up in uh, New York, in Elmira. So, I was happy to find that and I'm excited to get started on that. That's going to be a, hopefully a quick and fun. Woo, sorry. I just hit the camera. <laughs> Armageddon here. Okay. So that's happening. Some other recent purchases I made. I got some, when I was doing my knitting project, I realized that I needed some, these are stitch holders. They will help mark my stitch. I have some, but they're plastic. And they're old and you know over time plastic gets kind of sketchy and can crack and nobody wants to have to recount eight million stitches because your holder fell out these are some of these are really cute she threw these in as a thank you um it's just to help hold the little stitch holders and i don't know if you can see them but they're like little little kitties i thought that was cute and i didn't that was just as a thank you wasn't that nice Something else I bought, like as if I need, ever need more fabric or projects, because I have more projects right now than I know what to do with. I got this panel. I fell in love with it. I just love old sewing machines. And I thought, well, what am I going to do with this panel? After I bought it, of course. I bought it, and then I was like, 
All right, there's a million things I can do with this panel. I wonder if there's any kind of um, anything online to help my ideas. Well, while I was looking online, there was a whole thing about, a whole line for this. It's called a stitch in time, and there was free pattern online. I printed it up. I was like, how perfect is that? Of course, I'm going to need some other fabric. Uh, I'm not sure what I have in my stash that would work for these colors, but it's going to make a nice wall hanging for in my sewing room someday, whenever I get it done. There's no commitment here. Um, I also bought some labels. I, you know, every time I sew something, I want to put a label in it. And I got some labels. Look, look, look at this paper. This is sad that I even, I'm not a keeper. I throw everything away. But look at this paper that it came in. Isn't that adorable? Can actually use these pieces as like little templates. Isn't that cute? So I hung on to that because... I don't know why. I'll probably never use it for anything, but I thought it was adorable. So these labels I got, there's several different kinds. Um, this took me forever to make. Heavy praise is greatly appreciated. And then there's funny little sayings like, handmade with love and the occasional swear word. Well, I don't swear, but I do Baptist swearing, if you know what that is. Lord bless you. And this is handmade, hence the beautiful flaws. I, that's my favorite one. Handmade, hence the beautiful flaws. And the other package has got some other cutesy ones, too. Um, so I found these on Etsy. And... The store is, I don't have it here. Um, I'll have to link it below, I guess. So, but, you know, if you go on Etsy and look up humorous tags, you're going to find a whole bunch of them. Um, oh, yes. This was something I was hoping to get for Christmas. But I ended up getting it for my birthday. I got a kit, uh, my sewing kit. For the LDH scissors kit. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about these. Um, little sticker. But we've got pinking shears. We've got uh, 8 inch regular shears. And snips. And these are highly, highly praised. As some really good scissors. I was hoping to get the midnight set, but they were all sold out. And once you know it, about a week after I got... Th this is fine. But a week after I got this in, they restocked the midnight set. Of course they did. But that's okay. I'm just happy to have these scissors. All right. On the pattern front, um, let's talk about this wedding coming up. Uh, I think the last thing I had said was that I was looking at this pattern and this pattern... And this pattern. All right. So what I finally decided, um, this pattern is a little too casual for my liking, but I, um, I still want to make this dress because I think it's cute. I think it'd be nice for summer wear. But I did decide on this pattern here, and I just really like the lines. They're um, very classic looking, um, easily fittable. I can change the fitting easily. And these inverted pleats do good things on my figure. So i um, very happy about that. I even took, I, I don't know if you ever do this, but when I go to Joanne's and I have the pattern, I just take the pieces out and leave them at home so that they know that you're not running off with the pattern. I've never had an issue with that, but it's a little trick my mother-in-law taught me 100 years ago when I first started sewing. So I brought this to Joanne's yesterday. We were there. And um, with the intention of starting to see if they had their spring line in yet or not. They didn't, not really, so I didn't buy any fabric. But <laughs> I was looking, their um, McCall's patterns were on sale. And I did pick up a couple of new patterns, um, which I'll show you in a second. But I didn't go hog wild crazy at all. Um, and I was looking through the new look patterns and I found the perfect pattern for this, for this wedding, for the dress, for the wedding. It was just very elegant and it looked super easy to make and it could be just 
so many fabric choices. It has like a sheath underneath with um, thin straps, but then it's got this drapery covering. I believe it is N6653. So they had every other pattern under the sun for New World look. Of course, not that one. They didn't have any in the back. So I got online while I'm standing there in Joann's and looked on Etsy and I found it and I only found one. And it underneath it said rare find. So I scooped it up so fast. So I'm waiting for that to arrive and for the um, more spring and summer fabric to arrive in Joann's and see if I can find something that I like. I know I can order it online. It'll be better quality, but I like to see it and feel it because my skin, I don't want something scratchy on my skin, not even for my son's wedding. So, um, and I like to, because I think I'm going to have to uh, do some matching with lining and stuff. And I just want to be able to see it because sometimes the pictures online, you get a little different color than what you think you're going to get. And that's always disappointing, especially when you're on a schedule. All right. So over the last month, um, one of the other McCall's right after the holidays, I did buy some patterns from several weeks ago. So I've been buying stuff. I just haven't been making anything. Um, this is, I love this. This looks so breezy and lovely for summer. I have got summer on the brain for two reasons. One, um, nice long summer days. And I'm thinking about what we're going to plant in our little, um, container garden. And we made, woo, we made all of our camping reservations. We are, our summer is full. We've got one camping trip per month during the summer. It's going to be awesome our last camping trip is at a new place where we've never been it's actually the closest place to our house um but it's got full hookup we've never done that we've done partial hookup um i'm just excited we've just never done it the only problem is that our water heater didn't work last summer so we got to sort that out and figure out why that's because what's the point of having full hookup if you can't take a nice long hot shower um so one of the other nice blouses i got I just, I like this little tuck in the front. That looks just nice and comfy. This is more for this time of year. I was looking for something a little cozy. And I liked the, the neckline on this one. I really like, like that look. I think that's really cool. And this one looked kind of fun. I'm not sure what, which view I was looking at. I think... Probably the sleeves on the model there and the body of D. I don't like things tying up real, I don't know. I don't, the, the ruffle across the front is kind of goofy. That's not going to work on me. All right. Yesterday, excuse me. Yesterday, 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 um, I picked up this. It's like just a lightweight. I'm going to use it as a nightgown pattern for in the summer. And we got... Well, I picked up this dress because I thought I love the the meshy, lacy sleeves as long as it's soft. And I was thinking of maybe a little bit like this length here. And I thought, well, that would work as a dress for the wedding too. And then when I found the new look one, I just kept this one because for $1.99 I can use it. You know, I can make it not as formal as for a wedding, but it's something nice for work probably. And then this sheath dress... Um, I quite like the look of it uh, and it's a simple pattern look I've been sewing for years and I've just found the more fussy the pattern it is the more irritated I get I'm at past the stage of life where I need a lot of fancy stuff I want to be comfortable but I also want to look neat and clean so oh speaking of comfortable cotton viscose it was 50% off on the clearance rack guess what guess what guess what I'm definitely going to use this with this. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? And that's going to be just, it's just so soft. It's going to be lovely for in the summer. There is one other thing that happened at um, Joanne's yesterday that I'm not allowed to talk, talk about yet because I'm not supposed to know about it. Um, so we're going to let that go. It had to do with one other thing that I got, but we're not going to talk about that. I did, I've been looking for a good storage solution for my patterns. Um, I have them in a, like a drawer system right now, which is fine, but I'm out starting to outgrow it. So either I need to get another drawer 
to keep going in. I like it because you can push them in and the dust doesn't get to them, but you can still see through them to see kind of what's in there a little bit. And then I saw the containers that are like more individual size and you can stack them. I thought, oh, that's great. So I ordered some online and I was all excited about it until they arrived. <laughs> They're tiny. There's no way a pattern is going to fit in one of these. So I'm going to use these for notions and like um, small cuts of fabric, scraps, um, you know, for string piecing, stuff like that. So they won't go to waste, but I was just like, you know, you would think I would know to check the size before I buy. So I still don't have a solution for my patterns. They're okay for now. We'll live. It's not real high on the worry list with um, the wedding stuff going on. I don't need to fret about it. Um, let's see what else has been going on. Mm, I've been having a lot of dental appointments because I have some oral surgery coming up. Not fun. That's not as fun as it sounds. Let me tell you. And oh, um, I think I told you my husband's car is gone. We it got hit. It got hit by a deer, <laughs> and it's a little Suzuki. It totaled it. Um, but we did finally make a decision, and we bought a car last weekend like a brand new one, like we built it online and ordered it. So we actually ended up saving about $5,000 doing that. And here's the tip for a smaller vehicle. At least I can't speak like we have to replace my SUV this year because it's not going to pass inspection next January. But for now we're okay with that. Um, we'll have to probably do some creative financing for that, but we're not going to buy a big vehicle new. We just, it's like $80,000. No, thank you. I, I don't even want to spend that much, but for a smaller car, like what my husband needs for work, um, after he did months of research on the cost of used cars and anywhere near us, like three hours radius away from us. And it ended up that just buying a new car for a few thousand dollars more instead of somebody else's used car that's, you know, got over a hundred thousand miles on it was only a few thousand dollars more. So we went to um, a Subaru dealer near, um, <laughs> near us, near us means it's within two hours, by the way, cause we live so far away from everything. And we test drove an Impreza. Now it wasn't the exact model that we wanted cause we wanted a uh, manual because it's easier. There's some mechanical things that it's better for that will preserve something. I don't know. I'm not mechanically minded. My husband had it all figured out in research. He talked to our mechanic and like, as if he puts a lot of research into these things, but we did drive a, an automatic. And we just wanted to make sure he would fit in the car. My husband is six two, And it's not that we're not afraid of small cars. It's just, I want him to be comfortable and he wants to be comfortable because for his job, sometimes he's in the car a lot. All right. And at first he got in and he was like, oh, this is not going to work. But the seat moved back so far that he had all the room he could want. Plus him, he actually had to move the seat back up a little bit and the um, steering wheel telescopes out. So that was all good. We test drove it. We loved it. But instead of buying the one that they had on the lot, one, they didn't have a manual. We wanted a five speed and they didn't have that. And the one that they had was a little like five grand more because they had a lot of buttons and whistles that we didn't care about. So by ordering it online, we saved around $5,000, but we're not in a big yank either. We're, we've got time to play with here. So we can wait for this to be, cons you know, built and shipped to us. So if you're not in a hurry and you're buying a smaller car, I advise you to seriously look into perhaps buying new and ordering it with as if you can get away without all the little toys, then you can get a much better deal than what you buy on the um, lot. So, that's coming our way probably in about eight to 10 weeks and that's okay. We'll, he's not in a busy season for his job right now, so we can make do and it's all okay. Um, so yeah, that's the big news at the beehive buzz. It is supposed to be 46 degrees today. Um, by Wednesday, we're supposed to be in the mid fifties. So obviously the weather pattern here is warming up, which is a little weird for February, but I don't hear anybody complaining. Um, we're enjoying getting outside some more and earlier, and that's always good for me. I like to be outside. So that's all I got for you. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button. And if you want to know when I make a video and actually put it online, <laughs> hit the notification bell because you never know when I'm going to actually do something. Um, as far as 
sewing goes. I'm going to try to keep you updated on the wedding quilt, which is sitting over there. I've got um, the design laid out. I'm doing the 50-40 or fight um, pattern. I'm um, following the tutorial online by Missouri Star Quilt Company. So thanks for watching and have a great day. This is the Beehive Buzz buzzing off.